Griddle Master. Cooking up the good stuff. Okay, look at Griddle Master Jr. Jr. and Mrs. Griddle Master just booked that way. So anyway, we're here ready to season the griddle top. We have it outside so that the heat can show, or, or the light can show. All right. So we're gonna let it, we're gonna use flaxseed oil. I'm gonna pour just a little on there. Remember, I coated it already. I coated the top very thin after we scraped it all off. So make sure you do not rush this. We want we want to make sure that the oil is on extremely uh, like a film, not a coat, but a film. All right, so I can rub my hand on here and just get a little bit of oil on it, but no, no gobs, no puddle, no nothing. Then we're gonna put the lid down, and we're. This is a small grill. It's windy. There's a lot of things going um, negative for seasoning this today, with the humid skies. The the it just rained this morning. But we're doing it, and it just may take it a little bit longer. So we're going to do five coats of what I'm doing. So I have the lid down. We're going to keep it down. I'll, I'll probably keep it down for a half hour, and then I'll be back. Okay? Hey, all right, I'm back with you. This is at 500 degrees, and look at here. It's starting to rain. Let's see what the top looks like real quick. And I hear it sizzling from the rain. But well, let's go ahead and oil it up real fast before it comes down too hard. Make sure you have your paper towels ready. Make sure you have some tongs because you don't want to... Just a little bit of oil. All the oil went to this corner because I'm at a slope on my driveway here. So remember, really thin. You see I'm trying to make sure it's not a puddle here. Now what happens, I don't know if this camera's picking it up, everywhere is pretty good, looking, looking good, except for right here out front. Because out front, if you think about it, the way the fire goes, the fire starts here and is back there typically on most grills. So it just takes it a little longer, but it'll be good. So hopefully the rain holds out, I don't have to go in the grill, or I'm sorry, in the garage. But we're going to let this run, and we'll come back. You may see me in the garage. All depends. I don't want the camera to get wet, but uh, or cameras. So we'll be back in about a half hour, maybe 20 minutes. But as you go, the less time it takes this. Okay. How's she looking? Pretty good. Even the front is starting to look... And look, I don't even really have to put pour oil. You see it's smoking because I have oil on my paper towel. Ooh, toasty. So now you see it's hot enough, just the way it is. But what I'll probably do is get a little cup that I can pour some of this oil in, and then uh, I could dip it and wipe it. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this in such a way 
That's just a little, little poochie. And I'm gonna dip in the in the bowl here. I don't know if you can see see the bowl. Okay, and I'm just gonna dip a little and then wipe it on. That way you don't put too much on. You have to re-grab it. Be careful because it is hot. And you could order these tongs from griddlemaster.com. Because you definitely, excuse me, you don't want to have your, your hands down in there, that's for sure. I can tell you that right now. You just want to make sure you really get down in that corner. In all the corners. Alright, let's let that cook on. So we'll be back in about a half hour. Go from there. Hey, all right, Griddle Master Joe, I am back with you. We are done. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to show you, but I want um, David to come over and film to show you what temperature this is. And I have this on medium high. It looks like we're somewhere around 570 degrees. Come on. Now that is a well-seasoned griddle top. So, um, again, this was Griddle Master Junior Junior's um, grill that he used in Ohio, and we brought it back. It was totally rust bucket, and we rejuvenated it. I got the video for that, and this is seasoned with flax oil. So, hope you enjoyed. Mm -hmm.